Good morning. Aaron here, Simon Says Farms. And earlier in the week, as most of you know, oh, sorry, that angle. As most of you know, it was ultrasound day. And unfortunately, camera problems again. So this is why you're getting this intro and not the real one. That's me trying to breathe and not get angry. So I'm going to let you guys watch it. Poor audio, but hopefully we can make it through it. I'll voice over some of the parts that get real bad. And in some parts, I don't even know what I said. So if you're interested in watching what I recorded kind of behind the scenes for the ultrasound day of our goats. Now, normally, not a lot of people ultrasound their goats. I think I might even talk about that in here, but I don't remember because I lost some footage. So you guys uh, enjoy. So before we get started, I'm gonna go grab the dry erase board. Now, this is not a how-to video. This is a how we do it video. We breed our goats. We don't keep them all. We can't, right? We, we sell, sell them. them to people that usually want goats as pets or maybe go into the show ring. These are not meat goats. They're not meat breeds. We actually price them at a level where people in the meat world are not interested in our goats. And then the milk. Right, your goat produces milk. We convert that milk to soap and lotion and things like that. But our YouTube community, you guys, the village, really loves this day because it's where we start to learn how many goats are possibly inside the bellies. And uh, maybe mom will tell us more about the raising of the animal, like all that stuff. I don't get into that really as much, but it helps us know if that mom's pregnant with triplets there's a different feed requirement later on in the season or is she pregnant with a singleton? Things like that, it gives us an idea. But the dry erase board is needed during the live Q&A episode, not Q&A, what am I talking about? During the live ultrasound because we go no audio so we can talk freely with the vet. And you guys watching on the live, if you missed it, there'll be a link down in the description below or maybe up here somewhere where we went live on a little portable camera so you guys can watch and it's interactive and we dry it, draw on the dry erase board how many babies we think we saw in the ultrasound. Now this might all get repeated. Most people do not ultrasound their goats. They put them with the buck, the buck breeds them, and about 150 days later a baby comes out. If a baby doesn't come out, they weren't pregnant. Things like that. We do things a lot differently around here. We ultrasound. That's what we do. It's just our preference. It costs money but it is what it is, it's, it's our practice. So now I gotta grab the dry erase board, bring it up to the barn so mom can start writing all the goats' names that we have to keep an eye on today. I decided to go across the grass, maybe it be shorter. Oh yeah, this, this becomes a pain. That wheel locked? Ow! I pinched my finger. Oh wait a second, we don't need all that information. That's in case you guys order a bundle. I know what to put in it because I forget a lot. And this year, L-O-T-M, stands for lotion of the month. That's what that's for. This is the side we need today. Right there. So if the dogs could quiet down, I might be able to talk to you. We're back there making a whole bunch of noise. So first step was for mom. So right here, mom is writing on the board what day the goat is at. How many days pregnant is the goat? And then from there, as we do ultrasounds, we'll write the information on the board, whether they have one baby or two or what we see. But you can see in the background, Stella and Piper are just being crazy and making it hard for me to talk. Ridiculous. This is just playtime. That's all this is. Sorry. For an extra level of education, she's putting in how many days pregnant they are. At how many days would you normally ultrasound, Mom? 
Um, you can start at 35, but it's gonna be real hard to find babies. It can be done. We've we've done it at 35. Um, so by 53, we're gonna see big babies. And by how many days is too big? Oh, I mean, it's some babies where they give birth, but you can't count the number of babies because it. it gets real crowded in there. Uh, this will be a good time. By 60 days, I think. All right, it's official. That's the scoreboard for today. Right there. We know she has no date because we bred her again just yesterday, but we still put her up there to talk about her. Um, I thought today was Tuesday, but it's actually Monday. So, oh, so. That's why. That's probably what it is. The original ultrasound date was Tuesday, then it got moved to Monday. I just got confused. I don't know why. I thought, oh, because Tuesday's the day all, I'm shipping on all these packages, and I keep thinking they have to go out today, but they, yeah, I was lost. So we'll be back once the vet gets here for ultrasounds. That's it, it's official. Lots of goats, it's that simple. They all got pregnant, well not all, I don't know. A lot of them got pregnant. You can see the board here. We've got twins, twins, singleton, at least one singleton, and we supposedly were able to tell that Sadie might have a female. We've got D down here, possibly four. That's a little scary, not a huge fan of that, so we gotta keep an eye on overfeeding D later on, three, four. We've got twins, one, maybe two, so it's going to be exciting. This is all going to start, I think, in March. We're going to get the dates and everything on our calendar, which, if you haven't seen, is at the bottom of our website. All the way at the bottom of the website, go to this website right here. Link in the description below. Head all the way to the bottom, and there's an interactive calendar. In that calendar, you'll see due dates and pregnancy windows. So goats go 150 days. So say the due date is March 5th. We will put it on the calendar March 5th, but she can go anywhere between March 1st and March 10th. So she has a 10 day window. So take vacation from work, just get ready. Pile up on the coffee. Maybe that's a little early. Maybe you don't wanna pile up on coffee yet, but definitely get your phone charged, get ready. Sign up to our text message platform. Here it is, I'll put that there too, free. Sign up to that, doesn't cost you a dime. We send out cute pictures of goats, motivational things, sales we run on our website, but during kidding season, that is our push alert. So when a mom's ready to have a baby, if we know she's pushing, it goes out on that text platform to hundreds of people and you get alerted that, hey, goats pushing, jump on the live cam, come check it out. So, and I said it before, I know a lot of you know this, it's $1.99 a month to chat. We had to do that, clean up chat a little, make it real easy for us to moderate on our own. So if you'd like to join that, it's there's no contract. You can sign up now, hang out during all the kidding season, and after all the babies are born, cancel. You can do that if you'd like. So that's it. I'm going to go. i got to clean up this. i got to go pack up some more orders, eat lunch, things like that. But this is kidding season 2022. Two, I think we call it because we're in 21 now. Yeah, I think it's kidding season 2022. I think I'm gonna leave that there for a minute. Let me unmute. I'm gonna unmute the live cam. We've got a couple people still hanging out in here. Let's unmute you guys. Bingo. There you go. You guys can now hear the sounds of the goats. I'm gonna leave all this the way it is and get back to work. Thank you.